Are you absolutely positive the fish are going to eat this strange bait? Cacti grow in the desert. Fish live in the water. You know that, right? I knew it wasn't a good idea to take someone smart like you out fishing. Yes, yes, you're right. It's good that we're here alone. A fish would probably try a cactus just to try it. Daco, I'll be stung by a bee. You'll scare away the fish with your pacing, you know? Yes? Hmm. Are you hypothesizing that fish can hear us? Someone must have written about this. I'll check my reference book. Oh, yeah! Incredible! A fish will eat cactus after all, even when they see it for the first time. I wonder if it's coincidence or perhaps consistent behavior. We should repeat the experiment and see if we can achieve the same result for the sake of science. For science! What? Darko, what of you? All of the fish will be laughing at us. Laughing at us? These amazing creatures are able to laugh? Incredible. Let me check this back out in my reference book, just in case. Give me that stupid book right now! It looks like... We're in a tree. It's a good thing we didn't sink. I wonder how high up we are. I can't see anything. The trees are too thick up here. If I ever get out of here, everything is getting cleared. I think the height can be identified experimentally. Oh, you and all your tests and experiments. Here's a nice old proven method. Hell. Hmm? Ah, it sounds like the height's considerable. Which was clear from my experiment. Oh, well, I suppose there's really nothing much for us to do, but, uh... Nothing but what? But wait and ask for help. Sweet as honey. Hey, hey, hey! Is anyone out there? We're in a tree! Oh, it's not working. Well, why would you use such crude methods? We'll leave a map to our location. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> It'll take a year to find that thing. I prefer the old crude method. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Tonight's performance is canceled. I've lost my voice. I'm so very sorry. We'll never know the true effectiveness of your method. Yeah, It's high time we had some lunch. My friend, you and I are extremely lucky. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Just listen to me. Unlike many unfortunate folks who end up out in the world unprepared, we have stuff to eat. Cactuses? And why not? If they're good enough for fish, they're good enough for us. Ow. Mm, delicious. T -t I have to admit, it's pretty edible. It's good that you like the cactus. Uh -huh. Sandwiches alone wouldn't have done it for us. And we got plenty of cactus. No. I can't go on oh. anymore. We'll oh. soon be found. Oh. I'm certainly oh. missed. Oh. Why are only you being missed? Oh. Darn it. Well, it's logical to assume that my friends would drop by my house to see me and not finding me. Well, think Daco's gone off doing his darn experiments. 
You're always gone several weeks in a row. I hardly notice. It's all done for the sake of research. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. And I don't sleep for three months in a row, like some do. Why do you say that? Do you think it's fun hibernating all winter? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with us. Incredible. Well, I guess that's it. I'm going home. Well, take care, neighbor. Hey, Barry. What is it? I just thought maybe we could go fishing together another time. Only if we fish from the shore. And no fishing reference books. Hmm. What about tomorrow? I don't see why not. I'll be stung by a bee. Ha! <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Ruffles, bows, and dark purple are in fashion again. Mm. And in other news, a list of this year's Nobel Prize laureates have recently been announced. <sighs> who actually wants to listen to this? And who needs those prizes anyway? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're joking, right? Hmm. The Nobel Prize is an award every scientist dreams about because when they get it, it announces to the world... <laughs> the triumph of reason. Uh, no, I don't get it. Oh, it's very simple. Mm. Oh, when I was as young as you are, I was in love with a beautiful girl. But I just couldn't understand why she... W <sighs> she didn't love you. Uh, that's terrible. And why not? I'll tell you. You see, many moose quite arrogantly believe that every matter be solved not by smart decisions, but by comparing antlers, meaning the one with bigger antlers is right. That kind of philosophy. Absurd. Now, a group of elks, very smart elks, got together and created something to fix this terrible injustice. The honorable Nobel Prize. So then you had small antlers then? When it comes to friendship, size doesn't matter. I should know. I received a doctorate in this subject. To conclude, once you get a Nobel Prize, and only the very smartest elks can get it, everyone will love you, no matter if your antlers are gigantic or tiny. And when this happens, reason will triumph! The other reason is because you had small antlers. <laughs> All right! My antlers were not that big. Now, oh, they're just great! If she saw me now, with antlers so full and pointy, wouldn't she be sorry? I'm sure she'd regret her choice. Hmm? And you never saw her again, ever? I told myself that I'd be working and working, working and working, working and working until I got a Nobel Prize. And when I got it, she would see the great elk she could have had. Oh, and say sorry and come back to me. For as many years of research related to the correlation between mm -hmm. ordinary decency and the size of antlers, <gasps> the Nobel Prize is awarded to Daco. That's you! They just mm -hmm. said it just now! Mm -hmm. Yay! We all know! <laughs> We're so very proud of you! You're invited to the Nobel Prize Award Ceremony! <laughs> Address, date, and time. What luck! I can't believe it! They will broadcast it throughout the world! Oh no! I have no time! I've got to change! Got to look impressive and smart! I must embody the triumph of reason! Just sensational. A plus. Well, it's a glorious triumph of reason. And then, when she sees you look so great, she'll run right back to you. Me! <laughs> Darko!
<laughs> Hold on. What are we going to do about my antlers? I mean, don't, 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 don't you, you uh, think we should try to make them a bit more impressive, right? I think that's all we can do. Oh, no, come on. The ceremony will be in a great big hall. My antlers should be seen by everyone. But really? Yes, really. Daco, open the door right now. I'm not going anywhere. But what about the triumph of reason? The antlers fell off. It's not a big deal. It's not a reason not to attend. It's your duty as an intelligent person. Oh. Who cares now about the honors, the praise, the glory? Where were they when I was young? Now look at me. If they like, they can just mail it. You didn't go because you didn't want her to see you with small antlers, right? Absurd! <laughs> she probably doesn't remember me anyway. It is a paradox. We try to impress those who don't even care about us. But the people who love us, they don't even need to be impressed. Hmm? <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. We all love you very much. Me too. I love you as well. Hmm? What's this? Did you listen? And we peeked a little too. <laughs> So after that, I put on the fertilizer. A good quality fertilizer. Sparing no expense, I put it over the entire garden. Next, I planted the seeds very neatly and with great care, one next to the other. And what happened? Um, nothing grew. Nothing! I heard this program. It was on the late night radio. The host claimed we've all lived a past life we can't remember. Such an interesting idea. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I decided to send her a letter. Guess what she says I was in my past life. A butterfly! Good for you! So there I was, wondering what I should do next. I watered it, I weeded it, you name it, and I'd done it. I thought for sure there'd be no harvest, but then, to my great surprise, on the third day... I really wasn't surprised, because deep in my heart I've always known I'm a butterfly. You can't imagine how I long every once in a while to take wing and fly from flower to flower. The butterfly is such a gorgeous creature. The fact that I was born with the body of an elk is such an insult, a great tragedy. <laughs> Don't bother with these flowers. <laughs> I recommend that you try the ones over there, as those are far more appetizing. We butterflies have tremendous insight into flowers, you know. Are you having fun? Yes. Isn't life wonderful? Provided, of course, that you have figured out who it is that you're really supposed to be. What's that you're holding? A net? Out catching butterflies? Then you may as well go ahead and try to catch me. <laughs> catch me! Catch me! <laughs> Can't, though, can you? <laughs> Hey, Taco, what's up? 
Me? Me, right? <laughs> Who else could I mean? So what you wearing that for? Is there something wrong with your back? Hands off, don't touch, don't touch. Don't you know you could brush the colored scales off my wings? If that happened, just how would I fly? <laughs> what have you been spraying here? Pesticide. Oh, well, that explains why I'm having such difficulty breathing now. It's time we say goodbye. I'm off to collect nectar. <laughs> flip, 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 flip. <laughs> <laughs> Some imagination, don't you think? He's behaving like a lunatic. We need to do something about this. Daco, we need to talk. That's mm. enough of this. Time to stop all your fooling around. <laughs> You're no spring chicken. What are you talking about? You being a butterfly? Ah, in other words, you think it is for you to decide who I should be. And it doesn't matter to you at all how I feel, right? I am not an elk. Don't you get it? I'm not an elk. I might look like an elk, but in my heart of hearts, I am a butterfly. All my life, I've carried the burden of seeming like something that I am not. Don't you see? I cannot pretend anymore. Looks like he's completely lost his mind. What could be so bad about being an elk? I was not born to crawl on the ground, but to fly in the air. And I do fly. Look, I'm flying. I'm flying. <sighs> Anyone have a suggestion? Anyone? This is a house for elks. Mm -hmm. Besides, everyone knows that butterflies make their homes in trees. Barry, come to the table for dinner. We'd invite you if you ate this. Elks love it. <laughs> but we all know butterflies only want a tiny drop of nectar all day long. And we like to eat waffles and pies and cake and all sorts of delicious food. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, in butterfly language, that means that the two of you know exactly what you are doing. Admit it. Yes, we do. But you don't seem to. Doc, oh, wait. Where are you going? We were just joking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our butterfly has returned. <laughs> Food's still on the table. Mm -hmm. I had a very strange dream last night. I was a tiger. I had black stripes and I was very strong and scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid. After all, tigers don't eat butterflies. Hmm. Mm. 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 And now, in second, the first runner-up in our beauty pageant, the honorable mention, our number two. <laughs> and this was not an easy decision, folks. The floral crown goes to... Olga! <laughs> All that is left now is tonight's queen. Oh, wow. By unanimous decision, this year's winner, by virtue of her beauty and grace, is our one and only... Rosa! Pardon? I won? <laughs> ah, she's both graceful and beautiful. Your attention, please. We have a special prize for our new queen. Behold. The royal treasures. Oh. Some jam and a bicycle tire. Once she eats all the jam, she'll look like the tire. Am I right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> and there's more. In addition to her crown and these fantastic prizes, Rosa's automatically entered in the Miss Cosmos oh. pageant. <laughs> <laughs> You already know you'll win. Anyone else would be crazy to think they had a chance. We all know it. You gotta agree. <sighs> well, I can't dispute it. So I won't. But I'll still need that mirror. <laughs> Olga! Your Majesty. <laughs> You're stunning as always. Ah, Trey Bell, Mademoiselle. Like an angel straight from heaven. Easy on the eyes. 
Such beauty, such perfect dimensions, such an unblemished complexion. Multiply that by good bone structure, then quadruple her grace to the infinite power, and we still don't come close. Her beauty is almost incalculable. But look here. See if what your future holds is written in the stars. Rosa! 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 It's from the Miss Cosmos pageant! What? I didn't make the cut? Is this right? I don't get it. Am I not poised enough? It can't be! Am I not... Am I not beautiful? Ridiculous! Those judges have no idea. They wouldn't know poise if it bit them. Um, 36, 34, 26, uh, and then, uh, when it, well, according to the chart they sent, I don't qualify at all. I don't come close. I'm the opposite. How could I think that I was beautiful? I couldn't even get work as a clown in a circus. I'm just a meatball with eyelashes. What, Rosa? Would all of you just leave me alone? I can't believe you lied to me. You made me think I was beautiful. Rosa. Why couldn't you tell me the truth? If you had just told me that I'm a creepy little troll, I wouldn't have made such a fool of myself. I was all, I'm a beauty queen this and I'm a beauty queen that. Was it all a big joke for you? Well, I hope it was worth it. God, laugh, laugh, laugh it up. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, why are you running away? Uh, you're still the same beautiful Rosa to the rest of us. Yeah, right. Then you have bad taste. Why is it us? Maybe those judges have bad mm. taste. If I'm never going to be Miss Cosmos, then what's the point in trying it all anymore? Do it for us. We live in our own little universe. What would we do without our beauty queen? complete lack of appreciation for all things graceful and beautiful, for generosity and for kindness, we're leaving this universe and breaking out on our own to form a new one with our own guidelines for beauty and character. And since our very own Rosa fits all of our specifications, she will, in short, by unanimous vote, witnessed by all present, be our Miss Cosmos and our Queen of everything. Hmm. Does this mean I have to go back to making an effort again? Like washing my face and my house and being beautiful inside and out? Yes! Hmm. Please hold. I'll do it! I'll be your queen. There's no rest for the gorgeous. Oh well. Someone's gotta do it. After not receiving any communication, our friend Pin has become quite worried about BB. Setting off for outer space in search of his creation, Pin met some unexpected friends on the way. And this was only the beginning of a series of intergalactic mishaps. Hold on! Wake up! <coughs> We've got to open it! <coughs> I will suffocate! Um, maybe this will work. What's happening, computer? I'm sorry, Pin. 
It appears the engine has failed. There must be something we can do. I'm sorry, Pin. We cannot return to home planet. The engine has failed. It would be far too dangerous. What a catastrophe! We've got to get some help! Send an SOS signal! Shkat! Please let someone hear our signal. If someone doesn't come quickly, we are done for. We're pretty much doomed here. door can only be used from the inside. Hey, lady! You heard him! Open the door! Yeah, like, pretty please. Now you listen here. Ooh. I am not opening that door. If you don't open that door right now, you're in a world of trouble! Get down! <laughs> Your threats won't work, big ears. Now back up, or do I have to give you a big zap? Uh -uh. Please, computer. I can hardly breathe. Oxygen. Really? Baby! Pin? Pin! We're losing him. Isn't there a backup engine? Turn on the backup! I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. Turn on the backup engine this instant! Huh? Chico! I think we're moving! Bring it closer. Steady. Okay, sure. How'd you do it? Search me. Go slower. I'm trying to. Keep going, buddy. <gasps> oh, that was a close one. What the? It's BB. Space, 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 dummy. BB saved us. He heard your SOS signal, so he came and saved us all. BB? But why isn't he here? Where is he? He had a jet, but we took this picture while you were sleeping. BB, just look at him. That's my boy, all right. That's him. He had to go back to, uh, what do you call it? Corn Kappa Capricorn, something like that. Outer space business. But don't worry about it, Pin. He said he'd come back. Uh, Harvey, anyway. Bound for home. I'm flying through space, space. I'm flying through space, space. Space, 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 space. Fasten your seatbelts. Prepare for Earth landing. Buckle up, everybody. Fasten Woo! your seatbelts. Prepare for Earth landing. Yeah, we heard you, lady. Um, did we just land? You know, I'm not sure. I think we did. Ah, well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, computer lady, open the pod bay doors, will ya? I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. Our treehouse is gonna rock. <laughs> It'll have a swing and a ladder and a... Oh, hey, Chico. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we have hard hats for this? Oh, buddy. Well, take it easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> hey, Wally, you got any nails? I said you got any nails, Wally. No. No. <laughs> What the blazes are these? Nails. Crash said you didn't have any, so he asked me to bring you our extras. Hi, Wally. <laughs> I was just passing by, and I had some time, so I thought I'd drop in and we could catch up. <laughs> yes, of course. Come right in. <laughs> you want to talk? Talk. Just do it away from me. He's cranky today. I think it helps him really crank out his poems. <laughs> what does a ram have to do to get some peace and quiet around here? It's like they're trying to annoy me. I think I deserve some alone time. Okay. <laughs> Wally! I've got an umbrella! <laughs> oh, great muse of poetry. It is I, your humble servant. I beseech thee, give me the silence I require to create my poetry. Grant me the solitude I deserve! An island? A desert island! It's only me, alone at last! Alone at last! Thank you all so much for listening to my humble little poem. So now, <laughs> I want to hear your honest opinion. Huh? What did you think? Speak up. Don't be shy. What's that? It's magnificent? Oh, stop. Huh? Brilliant? Oh, huh? wait, who just said it was worthless? Was it you? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't bother to deny it. You, sir, know nothing about art. Pass! Don't be a ball hog! <laughs> Blocked you! It's mine! <laughs> I'm open! <laughs> Come on! Why am I the only one on defense over here? <laughs> Go team! <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, uh, boo. Boo! Foul! That was a foul! Pass! Hustle! Hustle! Take him out! To me! I'm over here! Shoot! I cast a load upon the yeah. waves yeah. to cross the ocean blue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought I wanted.
in solitude, but all I want is you. We're too late. I He's already gone. Voice inside the hey. rain, Hi. I see you <laughs> in the sky. I didn't know just what I had until I said goodbye. I didn't know just Wally, what I had. Wally, we've been looking I everywhere for you. Did you send us an SOS? Oh, thank uh, goodness. Yep. Because it had no directions. There you go. How are we supposed now to you find look you? Now you look awful. Let's get you a nice warm cup of Irish breakfast. I sailed around the harbor for a week. <laughs> am I dreaming? Or am I really going home? Chico, if it's truly you, pinch me. No! What do you think you're doing? You asked for it. You seem strung out, Wally. You should take a vacation. Someplace sunny and sandy where you can lie under a palm tree surrounded by the ocean with all the coconuts you can eat. It'll be fantastic. You deserve it, Wally. There's been no change whatsoever. Still 25 inches. 25 yesterday and the day before, and guess what? 25 the day before that. No progress whatsoever. Don't let it get to you. That's how it goes. There's progress, it's great. Then one day, no progress. But you have to keep going and wait it out. It's true for all of us. You keep at it. Then one day, whoops, mm, some surprising progress. <laughs> Who do you mean by that? Whoops. Ah, whoops! Whoops is a discovery that results from an accident that leads to progress in science and technology. Dang! Ah, uh, but then what does that one mean? Dang! Dang simply means dang! Clear to start! You know, don't you feel we're all stuck in a rut and no one's coming up with anything new? Take it easy, Crash. Speak for yourself. But it's true. At first I thought it was just me, but now I'm positive that all of us are progressless. You know? Hello? Hello? Where are you, progress? Where are you? Look around. Nothing new's growing. No progress. We need some kind of... Whoops! <laughs> I finally figured it out. What's going it's on? so obvious, we should come up with a cool invention. We'll make such a big whoops that world progress will accelerate like mad. Whatever it is, it'll be the coolest. Now, what do we need? We need an idea. And what do we need to get an idea, you ask? <laughs> we need brains and paws. Things, dude. <laughs> no, my friend, our hands. And we'll build those ideas made by our brains. Which means we have everything we need to make a great... Invention. Then what's uh, your idea for an invention? Ah, uh, uh, still gotta think of one. Well, get ready, my friends. I'm off to come up with a really great idea. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll go get ready. <laughs> 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 Hey, Crash, got it yet? Don't interrupt me, unless it's to bring me hot water. Whoops, 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 whoops. I did it! I figured it out! What's happening I invented now? something! I guess what it is! Oh no, no, don't guess what it is! <laughs> Check this out! Well, it's kind of like. Uh, no, it's more like. No, wait. How do I explain it? It's like, well, first you get in it, then see this thing I invented. Well, it turns and it turns and then it, um, goes? Ah, you know, I'll just draw you a picture of it. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs>
I have it right here, <laughs> but I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> Bet you wish you knew. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going, but I'll destroy it before you can ever see it. <laughs> don't worry, I'll show the picture to you. I just don't have a name yet. But you sit here, and you push on these pedal things, and steer with this, then this thing makes the front wheel go round and round, and you're moving. <sighs> know what might work? Move the back wheel. Oh, yeah! That's an even better idea. Uh, enough of this. You invented a bicycle. Uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> look at it. It's a bicycle. Yeah, that's right. Just look at it. Bicycle. Huh? What's that? Bicycle? Come on, huh? Crash. Haven't you ever seen a bicycle? Look it up. Read a book. Uh, what's going on? What are you trying to say here? Wait a sec! You mean it already exists? <laughs> oh, wait! D -d Don't go yet! I did make progress! A real scientific breakthrough! Check this out! It's a new game I made! The first guy draws an X, and the second guy draws an O, and then an X, and then... That's Tic-Tac-Toe. Awesome name! <laughs> Tic-Tac-Toe! <laughs> Not again. Does that exist too? You know, at this point, I couldn't tell you what surprises me more. Your ingenuity or your total lack of any information. It's nuts. It's like you live in a cave. Tic-tac-toe. It's an old game. So very old. Ah, uh, this is getting really weird. Forget that one. Wait till you hear about this invention. It's a new dance that's going to turn the world upside down. Performed by its creator. Fups, 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 fups. Fupsy, dipsy. Fups, 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 fups. Fupsy, dipsy. Fups, 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 fups. Fupsy, dipsy. Fups, fups, dipsy, dips. It's not possible that everything turns out bad. <laughs> but everything is bad. It just seems that way to you. Look, the sun is shining. Is it bad? Maybe the sun isn't so bad. But I suppose it could shine a little brighter. Oh, I'm taking this machine apart. <laughs> Do you think? That's bad? No, I suppose that it's not. There you go. See? You should learn to look at everything in detail. And then you'll see that everything is not that bad. Here, try it. The sun is shining. Pin is taking some machine apart. I'm standing here listening to nonsense coming out of his uh, mouth. That's excellent! You're doing good, but you have some work to do on how you express your statements. Mm. Mm. Rosa was looking for her ball. She says that she has lost it. Then she asked me if I have seen it, as if it's somehow my fault that she lost it in the first place. Hmm. What a downer. But the love, it lives on ah, inside my shattered heart. Olga's trying to thread a needle. The hammock is swinging. The hammock is swinging, making it impossible for her to thread said needle. The thread almost went through the eye a couple of times, but maybe it would make more sense to get out of the hammock first. Ah! Hey, Mr. Commentator, perhaps it'd be better if you tried helping instead. I'm walking down the road. <sighs> let's go, let's go! Now push, push, push up, push, push, push. Be careful! I don't think uh, we can uh, do it. Uh, more, more to the left. Uh, just kids. Uh, 
It's too heavy. Carlin is pushing, and so is Barry. He's pushing and pushing. Crash is on the left, and Chico looks like he can't push anymore, so he gave up, and the tank isn't hey, moving. Wally! Come over here! Yeah, we just need one more person is all. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. They need one more person, and that's all. <sighs> yeah. I guess everything is not so bad. You're doing it all wrong! You're saying it as if it's none of your business, as if it's sad and boring. You do it like that, making everything sad and boring. Speak as if it's very much your business. Even if it is, <laughs> Absolutely none of your business! Rosa has found her ball! Thank goodness I thought she would never find it! And now she's walking down the road and that gives us hope! Now, let's see what will happen next! I can't wait! So, let's see what changed since last time. What's happening? It seems... It seems that the thread almost went through! Maybe? Oh, yes! No, she has failed again. But she's going to try one more time. Success! Yay! Hooray! 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 And now, as we enter the vegetable garden, we see a new plan of attack. Crash and Chico have changed sides, and Barry is now pushing in the center. I wonder, will these new tactics yield the fruit everyone is hoping for? Here's the first push. It has begun! And now, too much force is being applied on the left. However, the right side has made the necessary correction, and they make a pass to the center. Come on, little more! It's done! They did it! They did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm being tossed in the air. I feel like I'm flying. The sun is shining, though there are a few clouds. <laughs> I am walking down the road again. But for what purpose? Is there any reason for it? Maybe, just maybe, I am looking for Rosa's ball? No, that can't be it. Maybe I'm just not looking for anything anymore. Are you going to be taken apart or not? Are you? Are you? <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. It's not so bad after all. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the butterflies are flying! What a disappointment! Everything looked like it was going well, but in the end, it was all for nothing. This is upsetting indeed, but life goes on. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I'm wrapping up my report. <laughs> Until next time! In spring, life can become so hectic, so chaotic. Time is always flowing, flowing somewhere. And you don't have a moment's respite to rest and reflect about the grand and essential things in life. And there are those that have something grand and essential to remember. Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, ooh. Your body craves movement. Time to exercise. And one. And two. And get up, get up, get up, get up. And one. And two. And come on, we're gonna do this now. Go, go, yeah. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, poor Olga. All of our youth and vigor has left us such a long time ago. We have such a wealth of experience behind us that we should just learn to savor the memories. And if we keep jumping like crazy, all of those memories will be jostled away. There'll be nothing to remember. Then we're forgotten. Wrong, my friend. Our memory, Colin, is an inalienable part of the soul. The soul is a central part of the heart and mind. And a healthy mind, of course, lives in a healthy body. Just feel deep within, and you'll feel all of your memories getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> ah, hard to port. We've deviated from the channel. <laughs> We're drifting toward the rapids. Stand from under. <laughs> wow.
What's this? What do you think you're doing roughhousing over puddles? <laughs> Don't you know who you're hurting? Hmm? Who? Enemies! <clears throat> of your own health! Wait! I think I've just remembered something. Hmm? Now it's gone. I've definitely forgotten something. We've shaken them out. Shaken who out? What'd you forget, Carlin? Hmm. Carlin forgot an amusing story about... <sighs> Getting hurt jumping over puddles. Once he remembers, he'll tell you all about it. Yes, now! Hmm, I remember jumping over puddles. Hmm. He doesn't want to share. Greedy. Hmm? Remember, jumping, jumping. Exactly. You've shaken up my memory. All of my lovely memories, they've all fallen out. You are sitting in a big, cold puddle. Yes. You're starting to jump in a big, cold puddle. Yes. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes and recall everything. One. Yes. To who? Yes. Three. <laughs> well, now? I've got it. I remember. I was telling this story to Daco. Yes, of course, of course. There was something about puddles. That means it starts with the letter P. Well? I write everything down, but... Oh, I don't remember where it is. Oh, oh boy. Remind me again. What were you talking about? Well... I remember that someone was jumping over puddles, and then... Mm, got sick? I don't remember. But I do remember there was some very important message. Big and very important to me. Got sick and developed a complication. I'm afraid we'll be so old when we learn what it is. We won't even remember. There is only one way left for us. To remember it all! <laughs> now we'll start reading your memories! Focus on jumping over puddles, and your memories will start appearing on this screen. If you recognize something, yell as loudly as you can. Here we go! Hey, Colin, what are you thinking about? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Kids are not allowed to watch this. Well, we don't want to watch it anyway. How can he recall something about puddles when all kinds of things are swirling in his head? <laughs> oh, it overloaded. I've recalled. Stop. What's going on in there? Stop. Oh. Quick, quick, before he forgets again. I remember! It was me jumping over puddles! Carlin must have got something wrong. What can be more important than jumping over puddles? Chico! Oh well, that's it. Puddles or no, I tell you what, Chicos don't jump. Not anymore. Last ye, the reefs are ahead. <laughs> Man your stations. <laughs> Bosun, pipe all hands on deck. <laughs> From beyond the wooded island to the river wide and free. Proudly sail them. What comes next? I don't remember. <laughs> Here are the rules. The loser has to carry the winner on its back for a week. Oh. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> Comfortable? <laughs> Not really. You'll get used to it. <laughs> First to five <laughs> wins. <laughs> You are making me so angry! Oh, my anger is angrier than your anger. That's it! I'm not talking to you anymore! <laughs> <laughs>
I tell you that I'm not talking to you either, but I'm not talking to you. Are you still fighting? Sometimes she is so stubborn. Guess that's a yes. She goes, let's go. <laughs> you gotta help me out. I want you to go to her, and you're gonna tell her... Tell her she makes me so angry! Go tell her yourself. Well, I would, but we're not talking to each other anymore. Chico, listen. Do this for me, please. Hey! Don't worry, Crash. I'll go tell her and come right back. Phooey. <laughs> What's taking so long? I told her. I told her. And? She said she's changing her middle name to Angry because of how angry you make her. Then give her this message. Huh? Tell no. her. No hmm? more. He's not your personal messenger. He'll just get tired out and won't be able to carry me home later when he loses the game. How do you know I'm going to carry you home? I might just win, you know. That's right, Chico. You tell him. It's like, he doesn't show you any respect. As a matter of fact, if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't talk to him. Yeah, Polly's right. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm not talking to you either. You're just afraid of losing, and you're trying to weasel your way out of playing the game. <laughs> Ask him who he's talking to, because besides not talking to him, I'm not listening to him either, so there. Uh, well, uh... Chico says that... Tell him if he thinks I can't hear him, then he's gonna screw loose upstairs. He won't play because he's afraid his brain will fall out. He thinks my brain is loose? That's the last straw. <laughs> you tell him that I... Chico, <laughs> did you tell Wally exactly what I told you? Hold your horses. You tell him Chico, I... why are you yelling at me? You're making me very angry, so I'm not talking to you, either one of you. Actually, I'm not talking to any of you. Huh? What are you guys doing? Playing a game or something? Barry, would you be so kind as to tell Wally to tell Chico... Uh, no, that's too complicated. Forget about all that. Uh, just tell Chico. If he's not really chicken, he'll play with me. Then if he wants to sit there all alone, even better. Wait a minute. You guys aren't talking to each other? All of you? <laughs> well, ain't that a stinger? <laughs> no one's talking. <laughs> it's peace and quiet without the peace part. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's so funny? <laughs> Barry, you're making me very angry right now. Listen, Carla, he, let's go. You have to talk to them. You gotta tell them it's not their fault. I have a lot of things I gotta do. I just can't waste any more time not talking to them. Maybe they'll listen to you. Ooh, what a bizarre nightmare. Chico, you have to do me a favor. You need 
to talk to Barry and tell him that if someone makes you mad, you can't just give them the silent treatment. It's not healthy for a relationship. You have to talk things over, discuss, try to get along with each other, apologize eventually. That's what's most important, to talk. Yeah, okay, but first, tell the creature sitting on my back that I agreed to carry him from the ping-pong table to his house, and as far as getting from his house to Barry's place, he's gonna have to walk on his own two feet. The wardrobe door creaked open. When he looked back, he could just make out something hanging. A fur coat made of rabbit pelts. <laughs> I can't hear any more of this story, or I'll just pass out from fear. In that case, here's a story for you. It's the tale of the masked minstrel. <gasps> really? Is it a scary story, would you say? Chico had to sleep with the light on for weeks after he heard the story. Ooh. I'm gonna take that back. I don't think he slept ever. Uh, no thank you then. Just tell me, is he real, the masked minstrel? One day, a circus came to town, but something was wrong. Everyone in it wore a mask. I mean everyone, even the elephants. But the strangest of all was a tall man in a long cape. And he wore a black mask that was impossible to take off. Oh, that's horrible. Why couldn't he take off the mask? Well, he was forbidden from taking it off. But one time, he did take it off, and he began to strum the strings of his black guitar. <clears throat> and all the women fell in love with him, and it made them lose their minds! Oh no! How awful! Yes, it turns out he was stealing their hearts, and there was nothing they could do. But there was no evidence to tie him to the crime. Not until... Don't tell me anymore! You're scaring me on purpose! Until one night when the full moon appeared in the sky, and he... I'm not listening! 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 Well, it looks like you've won yet again. Your story about the masked minstrel is the scariest one yet. It wasn't all me. Your parts were great. That bit about the hearts. <laughs> awesome. There's nothing to be afraid of. They're just trying to scare you. There's no such thing as the masked minstrel because they made him up. Oh! Uh, who's there? Uh, oh! I'm sure it's just the wind in the trees. No one's really over there. After listening to ghost stories at night, your mind starts seeing things that aren't there. I assure you, there's no masked minstrel here. Your subconscious has made him real in your mind, but now we're breathing him out. Breathing him out? Breathing him out? Tell me what you see here. It's the masked minstrel. Uh, you think so? Uh, and this one? That looks like the masked minstrel. Where do you see that? It's just a yellow beach umbrella lying on the sand. <sighs> Fine. It's a beach umbrella. Good girl. With the masked minstrel relaxing beneath it. Oh, fine. I think you just need a good night's sleep. A nice herbal supplement should help. Melatonin should do the trick. And maybe some chamomile as well. Good night, Rosa. Oh.
such a beautiful evening, don't you think, mademoiselle? Yeah, I guess. Are you... him? Are you the masked minstrel? <sighs> if mademoiselle believes that I am... Well, I haven't heard good things about you. You steal ladies' hearts, right? Is it my fault they fall for my charm, my mustache, and my beautiful music? You seem like a strong girl with a smart head on her shoulders. Au revoir, mademoiselle. It's been my pleasure making your acquaintance this evening. Should I be afraid of you? Will you steal my heart? Huh? That may be a challenge. I'm not Oh, stealing all those hearts. Hello there. My name is Cornelia, a name known for being both noble and pleasing to the ears. Anyone who's well-read could tell you that princesses and proud ladies are typically named... Cornelia. Cornelias are extremely smart, are in command of their fate, and affect history. Well now, do you finally understand who you're dealing with? Watch out! Here comes trouble! Come on, do your worst. Aw, oh, man! Lucky block! Here I come! <laughs> nice try, Chico! Crash is almost to the goal! Time to shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Tough luck. Looks like Crash missed. Poor Crash. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need you, Chico. Oh. Hey, Rosa, can you kick the ball back, please? Kick the ball back. Come on, Rosa, just kick it over. For your information, my name is no longer Rosa. I have evolved. If there is something you wish to ask me, or you would like to pay me a compliment, then you must address me as Cornelia. And now, if you'll follow me, I'll teach you how to play games that will help you increase your intellect to a decent level. <laughs> oh, yeah? Crash is forward. What are you scared of? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, gotcha. oh, 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 nice moves. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, watch this. Oh, I'm watching. Hey. Oh, wow. together and have fun. Let's play tag. Crash, tag, yay! Okay. Now you listen here, Cornelia. I'm no longer Cornelia. Now I'm Jaconda, which of course means joyous and full of laughter. <laughs> Lucky you, I've come to cure your boredom. Oh dear, your joy and laughter really took a toll on my face. Crash, we need to pick up the pace. Look over there. It's Joyous Jaconda and she's running toward us. No. No, no more fun. Please, I'll take boredom. My poor Chico got injured. There, there. It'll be okay. Jaconda? My name is Eleanor. Let's see, it's right here. Eleanor, known for compassion. That sounds about right to me. Well, I guess this time we need to look up the name that means abnormally cold. Nope. Inga! Winter-like. <laughs> apple-like, apple-like. Is it apple-like? My name is now Ephraim, which means fruitful. Are you sure? Because Ephraim is a male name. <sighs> well, I'll be. Why are you following us? Do you mean me? I'm Amina. And my name means loyalty. And my name is Crash, which means will you please stop following us? <laughs> I guess everyone should call you by your new name now, one that means covered in mud. Huh? Uh, I don't know what to do. What name is best for me? All of 
them have something that fits. How could I possibly choose just one and give up all of the others? <laughs> After all, I am submissive, and I am tranquil, I can be merciful, and I'm beautiful. Also victorious, and so passionate, and winter-like, and immensely rich, as well as, what was it now? Gertrude, yes, strong with a spear! Don't worry, we'll think of something. Chico, right? You're still named Chico, <laughs> aren't you? Refer to me as boss and you won't go wrong. Uh, Felicia, that one means happy. That sounds right. Okay, Felicia. Adelia, it means noble. Absolutely! Uh-huh, Adelia or Odelia. Nah, whatever. Isolde? Ah, it's all duck. I asked. Will you slow down? I can't keep up with you. Just give it to me. There! Henceforth, you shall be known as Emily, Augusta, Susanna, Juliet, Gloria, Danielle, Inara, Valerie, Eloise, Jennifer, Chanel, Aurora. Angelica, Hedviga, Nora, Elvira, Elizabeth, Tempira, Liana, Diana, Veronica, Ariadna, Victoria, Teresa, Maria, Esmeralda, Isabella, Cornelia. <sighs> Cornelia. Oh, you done? Done. Let's go. Well, uh, but... What about Emily? Uh, Augusta? Uh, Juliet? Uh, what is she called? There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> My close friends can call me Rosa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who? <sighs> Why on earth would anyone want to go to a carnival? All they have are rides that go around in circles, games you can never win, and it's such a waste of time it's almost criminal. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather go to the theater? I could perform my poetry for you. I have a new one about a genius poet. He has all the answers to life's mysteries, but no one will listen to him. It's a tragedy because his friends are all so lowbrow that they couldn't possibly appreciate his brilliance. Yes, that looks wonderful. Yes, that looks wonderful. Quite wonderful. Yeah. Honestly, what's the point of all this? This mirror shows me nothing meaningful about the human condition. It's just not real. I look like cotton candy with stumps for legs and great big googly eyes. Is this what passes for humor around here? It's sad. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> you look like a fluffy pink pancake. <laughs> That's not funny. Not at all. Believe me, if you were that misshapen in real life, you wouldn't be making with the tee-hees and the ha-has. <sighs> Don't bother. It's useless to try and explain it to him. Wally doesn't have a funny bone in his body. That's another thing. Why do they call it the funny bone? There's nothing funny about that either. This mirror is pointless. And not funny. If you make a face for too long, can it freeze that way? I never make funny faces. This is all your fault, you and your mirrors. Your not-so-fun-house cast a spell on me. No, oh, why me? Why is it always me? I didn't even want to go to the carnival. I wanted to have a poetry slam. No, oh, my poor heart. If you think the mirrors in my funhouse did this to you, then maybe if you look in the mirror again, we can reverse the spell. <sighs> Oh, look, you're back to yourself again. Ah, you, you did it. I'm cured. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
<laughs> you're a poet, aren't you? It's okay, don't cry. You can embody <laughs> your work. No matter what. Now you're avant-garde and <laughs> very abstract. <laughs> Maybe if you get some rest and drink fluids, you'll get better soon. <gasps> so I should take two aspirin and call you in the morning? Does this look like the stomach flu to you? That's the worst advice I've heard all day. Uh, yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Phew! I am so glad I brought my umbrella. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Huh? Metaphorically speaking. Wally? Hello? Wally? <laughs> Don't get so bent out of shape. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. Look at it this way. When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade stand. We can totally make use of your new condition. You think so? Of course I do. <laughs> have you ever been out walking and said to yourself, Wow, my legs are so tired. But you couldn't find a single place to sit? Just push this here and then that there. Voila, a chair. Don't you hate it when your closet is so full that your dresses get all wrinkled? Well, when you're here, wrinkles are a thing of the past. Or imagine that I want to bring my jewelry collection to a friend's house. That'd be impossible. I only have two hands. But with you, the problem solved. This goes here, that goes there. Perfect! What a great friend you are! Is that all I am to you? A piece of furniture? A doll for your amusement? How could you make me suffer this indignity, Rosa? My body may bend and stretch in unnatural ways, but I still have the soul of a poet! If you tickle me, do I not laugh? If you insult me, do I not weep? Don't I deserve better than being made into a coat rack? Wow, that's some dream he's having. Eh? He complained all the way up the hill about having to help, but then he went and took a nap. <sighs> it was a dream? It was a dream! <laughs> Oh, I'm not a chair, or a puddle, oh. or a hanger for dresses. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm me. Marvelous me-shaped me. That was a funny dream. <laughs> but what was the point? It's spring! So many springs I've seen, but each one still feels like the first one. My blood is running so fast. My feelings are alive at last. Hmm? Those are my snowshoes. I bought them in... Now, where did I buy those again? In Greenland. There is so much snow there, whoever named it Greenland was colorblind. And this hat, it was a gift. I got it in Mongolia or Angola. They say it doesn't allow any bad thoughts into your head. Although, sometimes it feels like it doesn't allow any thoughts in my head. Dalam, 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 dalam. Bye. Mm. Oh. Anyway, can you help me unpack my summer clothes? <laughs> Does this need to be unpacked too? Very interesting. Hmm. I don't remember what's in this one. Let's find out. Open it up. It's locked. Is there a key? I don't know. I don't remember where this suitcase is from. What if we open it up and then there's a fortune inside? Yeah, like buried treasure, except for the buried part. No, 
Wait, there's no need to open it. I... Yeah, I gotta go. Hmm. Come in. I don't deserve your forgiveness. I must confess everything to you. You see, my conscience won't let me hide it. Inside this suitcase is... Cash. What? Little colored pieces of paper. You can use them to purchase all sorts of different things. Long ago, I was coming home from the theater and I spotted a suitcase full of money. I decided to keep it. I was ecstatic. But soon I felt ashamed because what I had was stolen. It wasn't mine. And I tried to forget about the suitcase. And now I found it. Once again. Don't worry, Carlin. Maybe the person that lost it didn't need the money in the first place. Yeah. Maybe you just grabbed it by accident. You are absent-minded, like musicians everywhere. Oh, that's right. It isn't money in there. Huh? I remembered that I lost the suitcase with the money in it during my layover in Constantinople. In that case, what's in that case? My sweet violin. You mean you just found that violin? No, it's really my violin. But it makes no difference. I can't be forgiven anyway. Once I stayed with a tribe of natives and got them hooked on classical music. I played for them every day, and they just couldn't live without listening to sonatas, nocturnes, and elegies. But then I left them and took with me the music, notes, violin, and everything. I was young and stupid. How can I write this horrible wrong that I committed? <laughs> How terrible. <laughs> How come you never told us about this before? It's huh? hard when you get older to live with yourself thinking about all the mistakes you made when you were younger. That's why you forget everything bad and remember only the good. Very convenient, but sooner or later, it catches up. Don't worry. I'm sure the Maori have forgiven you. Uh, they probably listen to music on the radio. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I had given my violin to a radio station. So in that case, what's in there? Well, there could be anything in there. Like... The remnants of some cowardly act I committed. Or some betrayal I enacted. Or some offense that I caused. There might be traces of days gone by that my old heart, that is softened with the winds of time, just can't handle any longer. Mamma mia! This is my extra summer underwear. What has happened to my memory? I have a feeling that if you have a clear conscience, then you won't have problems remembering things. My young friend, it'd be good if by the time you're old, all the bad memories you want to forget fit into one suitcase. For some of us, even a boxcar on a train won't be enough. in the well. He has no voice, he can't shout, he can't talk, and he's freezing. And the people up top think that he's some water spirit, so they throw apples to him thinking it'll bring them more water. The first apple misses him, but the second and third, they hit him right on the noggin. Hey, gardener, I am talking to you. Answer me! Are you deaf? Yeah, yeah, the well, the apples, I heard you. So what? I have a garden to tend here. Huh? All you care about is gardening. I mean, just what if you were the one who fell in that well? <gasps> you try to shout, but you have no voice. So then, you try to climb the walls. You make it nearly to the top, and then you slip. Huh? 
Yeah. You lay there. It's cold. Buried in apples. You think that it's all over for you. You look up. You see... A light? You think it's THE light at the end of the tunnel. But it's really just a light bulb that the people up top lowered into the well to see what was really going on. The light is coming towards you. Closer. Closer. You can almost touch it. And then you get a great big electric shock. No. 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 What do you think this is? A circus act? Someone help him! That's right! And then Rosa jumps up and shouts like this! Ah! And then Barry takes a step backwards, and the rake hits in the back of his head. Ba-boom! And then he takes a step forward onto the other rake. Ba-boom! He takes a step back again. Boom! He steps forward. Boom! He steps back <laughs> You again. crazy Boom! kids. It's true. Boom! That's how it happened. I don't believe it. I don't believe my friend Barry was such a klutz and that he would step on the same rake over and over and over again. The world is not as simple as you might think, my young friends. Let's take Rosa, for instance. So carefree... And just what do you mean by carefree? I mean it's good. You're just walking along, humming a little song, and don't see the danger hidden in the grass. You don't see it. But Barry does. Just then. He sees that Rosa is about to accidentally step on the rake hidden in the tall grass. He realizes that he is able to save her, but only if he steps on the rake himself. And so, he does it. He steps on it. Mm, Chico, you're just not getting the point at all. You're acting like a, a fool. I need a real hero. Am I clear? A hero. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I understand what happened now. You were sacrificing yourself or someone else. You're amazing. So what you're saying here is that Barry's a hero and that I'm just carefree? Mm. A fool who's not cool? I'm so impressed. It's amazing how you connected all the dots to figure out exactly what happened. But there's never a guarantee that those around us will understand our true intentions. Everyone sees things so differently. We're so lucky to have such a remarkable behavior analyst as you. It's so rare. How can we make sure that everybody understands exactly what we mean? It's all in your expressions, old chap. That's right, expressions. If you're going to laugh, then laugh so that people will hear you miles away. <laughs> now, if you think that the moment is tragic and you feel like you need to shed a tear... <laughs> is everything all right? You have to do it so no one has any doubts as to what your true intentions are. That's very interesting. But what if I'm doing something that I consider to be really smart, but everyone else around me refuses to acknowledge it? It's quite simple, actually. First, lower your brows, then you squint your eyes like this, you smile ambiguously, and proceed to condescendingly shake your head back and forth ever so slowly. But what if you realize that in reality, what you're doing is something stupid, but you don't want everybody to catch on? Do the exact same thing, except add a stupid smile to your face. <laughs> That's wow. cool. It's got What potential. am I doing now? Oh, mm. you're up to no good. That's right. And now, hmm. You're, you're being, being greedy. greedy. That's right. We can read you like a book, my friend. Communicating with you is a pleasure. Okay, see if you can guess what I'm doing now. Uh, uh, hey, guys, what happened to me? Uh, huh? Carefree Rosa was walking and didn't see the danger. But you saw it and threw yourself on the rake. 
And then the sled turned into a rocket ship and exploded. It was the best dream ever. I dreamed that I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You know, I don't think I ever have dreams. What? Don't have dreams? How does that work? Maybe you just don't remember. At least you can sleep. <sighs> Insomnia is rough. <sighs> Not for me. I've heard counting sheep can help. Maybe you should give it a try. Take your order, please. My, uh, order? For your dream. We're running a special on scary clowns. I can choose? Awesome! Uh, 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 oh, I know! Let's have it take place in the ocean! Oh! <laughs> and I want a yacht! And a handsome prince. Uh, too much? No, I can make that happen. Anything else? Uh, uh, that's all. Thank you, Wally. Thank you! And hello. I What's going on? Rosa told us what That's happened. Right. How you yeah. can customize can you your really dreams? Hi, hey, what now? Ugh. You're like no a dream wizard. <laughs> Tell us how you do it. Come on. Don't you remember? In my dream. The sea, my boat, and my handsome prince. I'm very lost right now. Maybe you just dreamed the whole thing. No, duh. It was a dream. But I remember what happened. Wally was right there and made the very dream that I asked for. Well, did you do anything different? Not that I recall. I counted sheep to fall asleep. And in my dream, I kept counting sheep and then Wally appeared, almost like I summoned him. Maybe there's a link. Due to all the legends of sheep, they could have some scientific leak to sleeping. An interesting theory. I've always counted lizards. Hmm, that probably explains a lot. <laughs> 111 sheep, 112. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, 113. <laughs> Where is this darn sheep? One thousand sheep! One million sheep! Twelve million! Dang ah! ah, You're finally here! Oh, take me! Uh, somewhere! <gasps> Any details? Well, I could use a new therapist. Okay, uh, it's just missing a little, uh... So I'll need some of that, please. A dream isn't fun without any action. You feel me? <laughs> oh yeah, get ready for a beating. Great job, Wally. Thank you. robot didn't stand a chance. He was cowering in the corner, and then I flip-jumped off the wall and he exploded. That sounds more like a nightmare, Crash. Yeah? Then what you order? It's, uh, nothing, really. That's personal. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, poor guy looks exhausted. I guess that makes sense. While he sleeps, he's really working. And what's weird is he never remembers his own dreams. He doesn't have any dreams left for himself. He uses it up on us. Must be rough. 
Right? A poor thing. Yeah. Let's try to help him out. Wally. 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 What's this? You're in a dream. Sleeping now. I've waited so very long. Now what would you like to dream? Just tell me. Anything. Well, what I really want is to sleep. to ask for some specifics. Okay, remember when you told me last month how you used to be a champion Liana jumper? <laughs> yeah, I vaguely remember saying something like that. And you said you would teach us, remember? Uh, 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 I haven't done it in so long. Uh, plus, we don't have a rope. <laughs> how would I teach you? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on! Do it, Chico! And then show us how. Uh, this kind of thing can't really be taught. It's, well, it's something you have to be born with. Come on, show us, will ya? It can't be that hard. Yes, Chico. We want to learn how to fly on the wings of the wind. Like a bird! Well, I suppose I could do a practice jump. Nothing too high, you understand? Oh, my dear goodness. Come on, Chico. Chico. You can do it, man. What are you waiting for? Uh, I'm scared, uh, man. You look so good. Come on, Chico. 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 You upset or something, buddy? What's wrong, man? I'm a fraud. Nothing but a fraud. I've never done a Liana jump in my life. Why did I have to lie like that? Why? Oh, what am I going to do now? They all think I'm a champion, but it's nothing but a hoax. A big, giant, stupid hoax. If anyone found out, I just couldn't face them. Oh, I wish I knew what to do. I'll run. That's it. I'll run away. I'll go somewhere. No one knows me. I'll start a new life. Turn over a new leaf. I'll go where I'm a stranger, surrounded by strangers who don't know the big, fat fake that I am. A fake who lied to his best friends, who pretended to be someone he's not. If only I could take it back. If only I could tell them the truth. But I don't have the courage. I'm a coward. A coward! Oh, why do I have to be me? <laughs> oh, why can't I be someone truthful? Someone who's honorable? Why can't I be someone else? Someone else? That phony Chico? Me? Oh, no, I'm afraid you're mistaken me for someone else, mi amore. I must be off. Arrivederci. Not bad. Aw, oh, man, what did I do? Oh, what did I do? Jeez, Crash, you're a fool. That rope, it was way too short. This ought to work better. I'll go show it to him now. <clears throat> okay, I figured the last rope was kind of short, so I put this one together and... <gasps> uh, yes, may I help you? Uh, I mean, uh, buongiorno. Hello, nice to meet you. 
friend. This is weird. Whoa. I am a Chicorini. I bring for you. I welcome you to my home. Please, to enjoy my new rabbit friend. But you're not... Ha, Chico? No, I am cousin. He no here. He's not here? That's strange. Where'd he go? Chico! Chico was scared because he couldn't really do a jump. You must be crazy. Chico, he jump like a gazelle, a panther. He fly in the air like a bird, like a plane. Of course, he no like to brag. He a very modest, Chico. He could do all that? I never knew. He never tell anyone. Oh. And he swim, too, eh? He swim like a fish so good, huh? the fishes say, How you swim so good? Hmm. So wise, Sister Chico. Chico, you look deep into your eyes and see down into your soul. <laughs> Chico! Oh, uh, uh, I, oh I, I can't do this anymore. Making up stories and trying to be somebody I'm not. I just want to be me again. <laughs> Chico! Hooray! Oh. <laughs> 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 We've got a beautiful blue lagoon, free of reefs, and the current's nice and quiet. If you were a pirate, could you ask for a better place to hunt for treasure? I don't know how to answer that. The answer is no. <laughs> There's treasure here somewhere! Ooh. 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 Hmm, so where are you going, may I ask? We're on the hunt for pirate treasure. <laughs> That's adorable. Just like pirates. If pirates were ridiculous. Promise to buy me something nice when you find your treasure. Ooh. Wait, are you going searching underwater? You have to let me come with you in your... What's the word? Oh, right. Submarine. Sorry, but there just oh. isn't room. Oh, of course there is. <laughs> if we straighten up all the clutter, there will be plenty of space. Sweet sour couch. Nine, nine. Huh? Don't touch <laughs> it. It's balanced. Oh. Oh. Well, it looks like I'm the ballast. Treasure here. I feel it in my bones. Ooh. Hey, quit hogging the what's it scope. Hey, we're not down here for sightseeing. This trip is business. Whoa! <laughs> treasure! 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for the first treasure, Jill. But we can do better. Not cool! A pig underwater would be a good idea when pigs fly. Huh? 
I, I, I see something there. Buttons here? Open the fridge? Nein! Nicht! No! no. Perfect place to find pirate treasure! Look! Someone left their stuff over there! Oh. Treasure! Yay! <laughs> treasure! 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 <laughs> 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 Sky is falling! Come on, let's go! Uh, wait! But what about the treasure guy? <laughs> Rosha, what's that? It's nothing. I just found it in the cave. Uh, holy carrots! Rosa, you found a piece of treasure! This is a genuine, real-life pirate nail! Uh, holy <laughs> carrots! Uh, <laughs> it's always been like that. One pig's pirate nail is a psycho rabbit's treasure. Yeah! <laughs> My name's Crash. I love sports more than anything else. The tackling and shoving. Oh! This is my friend Chico. He likes things that are quiet and calm with no physical contact. There are even a few sports for people like him. And one of them is golf. The rules are simple. Really, anyone can do it. All you do is hit the ball in that hole all the way over there. Uh -huh. Not bad, my friend. But don't swing so hard. You want to be accurate. Try to aim next time. Here it is. Did you see that shot, Daco? And this, this is Daco. He's not into sports. Well, funny you should ask that. I was right here on my hammock, holding my coffee cup, when, next thing I know, something comes flying through the air and arcs up and into my cup. Rule number two. When the ball misses the hole, the next shot must be taken from the spot where it landed. Like the mud. I'm never going to get the swing of this stupid game. No, no, no. Don't worry. Now, watch those quills. You shouldn't give up. Not at all. I'll even help you. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Try again. 
Try to focus. And keep your eye on that ball. <laughs> Nicely done, Chico. You just needed a little practice. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. 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 Well, who's a big athlete? Uh, don't, don't pick, pick it, it up! Don't pick, don't it, up. pick it up! This is Barry. He holds the world record in grub wrestling. Oh. Ow! Oh. 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 I'm just not any good at this. I think I'm getting worse. <laughs> oh. Don't say that. It's not true. No, we never give up when a job gets tough. Uh, hold on a minute. I'm all set. Take your shot. No. Whoa. No. Hi, Barry. No. Oh. <laughs> A simple hello would have been okay. <laughs> Where is it? Which spot? Olga is the champion of watching the grass grow. This tree is in the way of you making your shot. You have to find a way of shooting around it to get to here. And don't forget to take the wind into account. I'll check it now. A north wind at three miles an hour. Stay loose and don't extend your shoulders. Don't swing too hard. A nice soft hit. Hmm. Huh. For real? Huh. The ball has to go right here, like this? Huh? Right? <laughs> yep. That's pretty much it. Good luck. <laughs> it's an interesting game. <laughs> That's a strange rule, though. <laughs> um, Smart, just out of curiosity, wouldn't it be possible for Chico to miss the ball and hit me? Uh, huh? Huh? I'll take that to mean that it's a distinct possibility. <laughs> You've got a southeast wind at uh, seven miles per hour now. Remember, a uh, soft hit. <laughs> it seems that I swallowed the ball. I told you guys, I can't play this game no matter how hard I try. <laughs> it's easy. Just hit the ball in the hole. I can't do it. Oh, what's the point? It's over. I'm giving up. Oh, this is all my fault. Do refresh my memory. What did you say was the first rule of golf again? The ball has to end up in the hole. Uh, no problem. <clears throat> Let's do this. All right. Remember to swing soft. <laughs> nice and slow. <clears throat> Great shot. <laughs> Keep going, Olga. That's <laughs> it. Don't fear off course. Oh, please go in. Please go in. <laughs> 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 Come here, you golf wizard, you! <laughs> hey, Crash. Huh? Um, can you explain the rules of this game, please? I had no idea golf was so strange. Well, the first rule of golf isn't whether you win or lose. <laughs> the first rule is to have fun. <laughs> What? You mean it's over already? That's too bad. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Woo! <laughs> I had so much fun here, I should be good till the next holiday. <laughs> when is the next holiday? 
The next holiday is in... Mm, exactly 37 days. 37? Actual days? In a row? 37 long, ordinary days from today? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, in the meantime, we could celebrate some other less well-known holiday. Like what? what? What's going on? Oh, hey there, Barry! Can you believe it? Carlin has just found out that today is Baratuma! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it's a really important holiday somewhere in Paraguay! <laughs> Barry, do you want to dance? Or maybe you want a lemonade or some tea. Thanks, guys, but I'd rather play hide and seek with Doggo. Ain't that a stinger? Uh, oh, sorry, Docko. <laughs> well, I'll be. Rats. Baratumba. Stupid. Ah, <laughs> how are you doing, guys? Oh, happy holiday! Huh? <laughs> what holiday is that? What holiday? Well, today is the well-known, uh, um, uh, Carolyn About Nonsense Day. Why, yes, of course! How could I have forgotten Caroling About Nonsense Day? The greatest holiday from all Lower and Upper Africa. Uh, no. <laughs> Party! Oh, come on, Barry, you can dig later. Party. coming up anytime soon. Yeah, it's too bad all the holidays are over, hmm? But what do we do now? We'll just have to wait until the next holiday comes along. Actually, we don't have to wait after all. <laughs> huh? Huh? It turns out that it's been 37 days already. <laughs> Get ready, because the next holiday is... Wait, I didn't mean to. Carlin, buddy, thank you. The entire agricultural industry thanks you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, thank uh, you, uh, thank you, uh, and finally, uh, thank you. A warm 
warm Saturday afternoon is the perfect time for spring cleaning, especially if there's a friend there to help. And especially if it wasn't done last spring, or the spring before that, or... <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff in here I don't think you need. Thanks, but I do need all those things. Of course I do. If you say so. <laughs> uh oh. What about this? I need that too. Huh. Oh, what's this? I don't know. What's in there? Uh... I can't see. What's in there? Hey, look at this. Oh. <sighs> Let's screw it in. All we need is electricity. I don't have it. Or a lamp. Go. Oh, let's go to Pins. He always has everything. Yes, but what is it? <laughs> Thanks! I call it perpetual motion. It takes wood like so and turns it into energy. And then it takes more wood to burn and it makes more energy. <laughs> ah, then it gives you electricity, am I right? No, it doesn't give me anything. It just takes and takes. Say, what do you need electricity for anyway? This! Ooh, that is one fine-looking light bulb. Just a moment. <laughs> Behold, this machine transforms power from the wind into electricity. I will explain. The wind blows, the blades rotate, and then the lights turn on. But look at it. It's not on. <laughs> well, the wind is not blowing, and the blades are not rotating, and so therefore the light bulb is, is not, not on. on. Hmm... Uh, maybe we could do it without wind. This here should help. <laughs> now that's more like it. Maybe it works better with wind. But where's the wind? Oh, you know the wind. Here one day, gone the next. But don't worry, someday the wind will return. Ah! No, no, bad machine. What's the fence ever done to you? Oh, I've got it. We're going to dig a hole right through the earth. Then the wind can travel through the hole and get to us faster. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it you guys are up to this time? We are digging a big hole. Then when the wind's blowing around on the other side of the earth, it'll also be blowing here. Tell me, are you crazy? We will get the most dreadful draft. And dreadful drafts lead to dreadful coals. I hereby demand you exit this hole. Come on, Olga. Just be a pal. Let us dig. Just be a pal. Pals don't let pals get sick. Uh, now exit the hole. Wow. Next, can you try to make wind, please? I don't know. But what the heck? Let's try and find out. <laughs> oh. The solar cell is what we need. It creates electricity from the sun and not the wind. <laughs> Actually, its smart lights should be on when it's dark, not in the day when the sun is shining. What a great point. We need to build something that creates energy at night. We're all supposed to sleep at night. Hmm. Maybe we're all supposed to sleep, but not all of us can. Especially if your house happens to be located right next to the den of Big Barry the Bear. 
That bear snores so loudly that every single wall in my house shakes. Big bear lungs! A big bear snoring will produce big gusts of wind! <laughs> It's working. Shh, quiet. What's going on? Oh, why is it so bright? Barry, sleep, 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 sleep. I don't know how it is where you are, but around here, spring cleaning is a big adventure. So big, in fact, that sometimes we don't actually get around to the cleaning part. But one way or another, things do tend to work out. One, two, three, tap, ding, and hello, sports fan. Today we are live from the annual Desert Race Cup. All year the crew has been hard at work preparing for this special day. At last we get to see their creativity and problem-solving skills put to the test. Will their innovations allow them to pass the impassable desert sands? In just a few moments, folks, we will all know the answer. On your marks and in five, four, three, two... No! 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 Stop! 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 Huh? 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 Ah! Yeah! That wasn't a starting shot! Guess it's star time! <laughs> Bad news, friends! For start! <laughs> Go! Break, which once again falls at the very worst possible moment. There once was a time when I too used a regular shampoo, and as a result, I barely had a strand growing on my head. Guess what you're holding? Ah, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's a ski. You work hard. Shouldn't you relax hard too? You say you can't find the time for a vacation? And that's not all. If you buy this ski now, you'll get the second ski absolutely free! How lucky! Looks like my skis are different colors. Wow! That's changed now! I have a head full of beautiful thick hair, don't you agree? <laughs> you have a taste for the finer things in life. Mm. It's time you feel like you're on vacation with one of Barry's quality pickles. I guarantee it'll be an experience. You know, I'm actually okay with it. So what? We have the slowest race car. We also have the safest race car. Not to mention ours is the most comfortable. We're even able to look around leisurely. Ah, and the desert is actually quite beautiful, too. <laughs> Maybe we should drive even slower than this. Why should we hurry? We don't stand a chance of winning the race anyway. That's true, but it wouldn't be very nice if we made everyone wait for us too long at the finish line. Huh? What happened to you two? 
Hmm. Uh, I don't get it. Why don't you come with us? Hmm. Hmm. All right, sports fans. Things are getting really exciting now. The cars race bumper to bumper. Now that the favorite teams are in the race, it's clear that the cup will be run by, by one of them. But which one exactly? Nothing is clear so far. Hmm. Ah! They'll all just be stung by a bee. They're passing us. Sounds like it's time to transform. Pulling ahead now is a team that took creativity and problem solving to heart. We are interrupting this broadcast due to unforeseen technical problems. Oh, we came in first place. We just won the race. La, 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 Here we are! I suppose we can't blame them for not waiting. Right. While we made it safely, huh? we were also very <gasps> slow. Oh, it's the cup! I can't believe it's we're true. Here it's true! It's true! I told you we'd win! I told you we'd come in first! It sure must be nice to be a winner! At least, we had a fun time! Yeah. Come on! No. not eat purely for instant gratification. There is a whole ritual to it. There's a philosophy behind it as well as an attitude towards life. Tell me what and how you eat and I will tell you who you are. I don't get it. What's wrong with carrots? My friend, the problem is not with the carrots. Carrots are pure and innocent. The problem <laughs> is you. Or rather, the problem lies in the way you have a habit of eating them. You've just dug them up and are about to mindlessly devour them. I rubbed the dirt off. And what of that? I'm hungry. I want to eat. And what of that? I like to eat when I'm hungry. You must fight that impulse. Only wild animals eat that way, digging something up and tossing it down. You are a civilized animal and should understand the art of cooking. <laughs> Listen closely. In order to prepare just the right dish, the first step, of course, is to select just the right ingredients. No. Hmm. <sighs> Everyone knows this already. Let's skip to the part where we ate them. The second step, as a rule, is to not only wash the ingredients, but to peel them as well with a sharp blade. You carefully remove the peel, like so. <laughs> of course, before you can begin, you must figure out exactly what you want to cook. Here's the thing I'm struggling to understand. I wash and peel them. At that point, why can't I eat them? Well, when a dish contains an assortment of ingredients, its taste becomes more sophisticated, richer, and yet more incomprehensible. It's crucial that the vegetables not be carelessly thrown into a pile. Our ingredients are the foundation of the dish that we will be creating. Therefore, there must be symmetry as well as balance. For example, Red carrots go quite well with a ripe yellow pineapple, a crispy green cucumber, just a hint of overripe orange, pumpkin pulp, and, last but not least, a drizzle of amber honey. Bombs, we don't need any of those. 
cases, ingredients should be cut up into small pieces, making them not only convenient for eating, but also, and perhaps more importantly, appealing to the eye. As you can see, our ingredients are now marinating in the delicious juice from our freshly cut vegetables. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks delicious. Let's eat already. The next step, of course, is the application of heat. There are many options to choose from. One could boil or fry. One could use dry heat or bake. And those more skilled could even saute. <laughs> Normally, it depends on the cookware generously provided by our sponsor. Oh, we're in luck today! As you can see, we could fry or we could boil, and with this and my skills, we could even sauté! And your luck doesn't end there, for I'm going to share one of my secrets! If you cook something over low heat, it will cook rather slowly, and on high heat, it cooks quickly! There's no point in sitting here while the food cooks, uh, so let's go out and walk up an appetite. Hm? Mine's already been walked up. We waited long enough. Let's eat now. You've been inside breathing in cooking fumes too long, my friend. Now you need to what breathe are you in some fresh about? air. What oxygen? Fill your lungs what with air? oxygen Don't so tell that me you can work up a healthy air. and hearty appetite. Salt is everything. Success in cooking requires using just the right amount. Uh, pfft, it's actually sugar. It'll be fine. And now, presenting the feast! <laughs> Knowing how to serve mm. is also important. A dish should not only taste delicious, it should also look delicious and be presented in an inviting manner. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you mind? Can, can I have this? Because uh, Well, in my opinion, something seems to be missing. Uh, maybe a sauce or something. It's an appetite. All one needs to appreciate cooking is an all-consuming appetite. Um, are you going to eat that? Hmm. <sighs> 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 Really? How's the water? What'd you catch so far? Well, sort of... Nothing. Yet. I almost had it! It was the size of a hammerhead shark! Super crazy enormous! Almost had him! Well, actually, I let him off the hook because I'm nice. Hello, Chico! What's the matter? What? Um... Oh, nothing. You're always a little weird, but today it's more than usual. Hey, let's tell more people about my monster fish! Yeah, how about later? <sighs> it was the size of a blue whale! He gave up and I let him go out of mercy. It was awesome! Chico! Chico! Hey, Chico! Hey, Chico. <gasps> Want some? What's this? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, carrots! <coughs> Is it a fever? <coughs> hmm? I just can't stop thinking about her, Lily. And I wonder, what's the story behind this photo? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. So this is where you found the photo, right? <gasps> I got it! Got what? The answer? So her photo came from the ocean, but that photo had to get in the ocean somehow, you know? Here's what I think. Someone took a boat sailing away from Lily. But then aliens attacked, and the ship got wrecked, so the photos fell overboard. Hmm? Aliens are usually your first answer, Crash. Hmm. How's this? No aliens this time. Lily is lost at sea. A storm comes and destroys the boat. Lily slips on a dead fish, and then... Oh! Oh. Save me! Someone save me! Or maybe she just wanted to go for a swim. We can never know. Chico. Chico. Chico, what's wrong? I have to help her. She might be in danger. Lily, I'll save you somehow. Hey, going on a trip somewhere? Are you looking for Lily? How on earth are you going to find her? Well, I'll know. I feel a spiritual connection. A connection? You've never even met each other. So what? You know what I think? What? I think she dropped her picture in on purpose. She might have fallen overboard, but swam to a nearby desert island. Look at those palm trees. She put those there as directions for her star-crossed hedgehog lover, me. I have to go. This plan is crazy, even for me. You can't do this. You don't even know where you're going, all for some made-up Lily. Don't try and keep me from this. She's out there all alone on an island, wondering when Chico will finally come and save her. So I have to go. And what if somebody else saved her first? There's still a chance. We might be the only people alive who know she's out there and needs our help. No way could I let myself miss that one chance. No, stop! It's too dumb! Chico! Help me! Save me! Listen! Someone's yelling for help! Yeah, that was me! Between my bouts of seasickness! I think I found your lady. And now, meet my friend, Lily. <laughs> Lily's organic lemonade? I can't believe this. You've destroyed such a beautiful meadow. We didn't really destroy it. We just dug a few paths here and there to make a maze. That's all. And it'll be so much fun walking through it, trying to find the exit, and, um... Find your way out? What are you talking about? Look, there used to be luscious green grass here, but thanks to you, it's nothing but dirt and rocks. You two destroyed the entire habitat. What if buffaloes come? Oh, look, no grass here, so let's just eat dirt and rocks. What buffaloes? What are you talking about? Yeah, there are no buffaloes. <sighs> exactly, because there's nothing to eat. If they come, we'll find food for them. Ow. Lots of yummy things here. Oh, rabbits eat all kinds of disgusting garbage. That's why there's so many of them. They have no self-respect. Buffaloes are totally different. They must be nurtured and cared for. There's only a handful left. They need protection. 
They're on the endangered species list. Hello, Hello Doggo. Hello, Doggo. Make sure you wipe your feet before you... Oh. All the endangered species are listed right here on the endangered species list. Everybody should know we need to be careful, because if we're not, they could maybe disappear. Like buffaloes? Yes, like buffalo. Oh, look, it's Taco! What's the matter? Hmm? Daco, we had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Your head? You need CPR? I do appreciate the concern, but I assure you it's quite unnecessary, really. Other than occasional chafing on my antlers, I'm in good health. But you don't understand. There are lots of us, but there's just a few of you left. So, we, what? Okay, look, we're going to protect you first and foremost. And second and second most, don't argue. <laughs> if you want me to be healthy, then it's best if I stay away from all of you. I don't need anyone. I'm totally fine on my own. Ay, ay, ay. That boy has got a lot to learn about being safe. Hey, check it out. He's walking towards his house. Uh-huh. Here, Daco. What is the matter with you? He's on a strict diet. He can't just be eating junk. Oh, don't feed the animals. Ridiculous. Looks delicious. You eat it. Ship's not for an hour. I had a terrible nightmare. Daco was in a tornado, a big one, like with wind and everything. He landed in a place with strange animals, and there was no one there to take care of him. Um, you know something, old chap? That could really happen. What should we do then? We need to make a bracelet. <sighs> we'll put Daco's information on it. Name, address, favorite food. And we'll attach it to him, so in case he gets lost, anyone that finds him will know where he belongs, and also what to feed him. If we put a tracking thingy on the bracelet, then we'll know where he is. Then all we have to do is turn on the thingy and go find him to bring him back home. Phenomenal! Daco! Hey, Daco! Rosa? Uh, what? What <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> right away, Doggo. Go on. To where am I supposed to run? I live right here. Just go now. Go! Uh, there's only a few of you left. I read up on endangered species, and your kind can't breed in captivity. Run, Doggo! Run! <laughs> Will this nonsense ever end? Mm. Goodbye! Where is he? Check Daco! thoroughly. Look under every bush Daco! if you have to. Check the thickets. Daco! Tracks! Tracks! Look for his tracks! Daco! Well, thank goodness. We were worried sick about you. We had no idea where you went to. Listen, you have to forgive us. Come back to us. We won't treat you like we did anymore. <sighs> what made you change your minds? I don't understand. The thing is, that was the old endangered species list. But we found a new one. What does it say? It says that we're all in there. Believe that? All of us. Yes, Daco. All of us. 
Well, except for rabbits, <laughs> of course. <sighs> Some people have all the luck. They have these great abilities. See through walls, move objects around with their mind. <sighs> it's so unfair. Dreadfully unfair. I feel like I'm an extraordinary girl inside. I just don't have extraordinary abilities. <sighs> it's just a silly dream. <sighs> ah! <sighs> What's that smell? I can't believe what I'm seeing! It's definitely an unidentified phenomenon! Rosa! Extraordinary! Who? Uh, A person uh, with extraordinary abilities! I've been looking for you everywhere. Uh, uh, would you like to go swing on the swings? I can't go. Why not? Oh, don't ask. You wouldn't understand. We unique, um, unique. Oi, uh, uh can't you see that we with extraordinary abilities can't be understood? We are so extraordinary. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't you know it? Just when you're ready to save the world, no one is threatening it. <laughs> Son, this tree fell down. <clears throat> it was during last night's storm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Stand back. Watch this. <clears throat> Build it. That's oh. one way to do it. Rosa, thank you. <laughs> Why are you hiding? I'm here to help you. Uh, we'll come out later. When you run, 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 run out of charge. Uh, uh. <sighs> Barry? What's wrong? Mm, I know your game. If you want something, just take it. Really. Take my watermelon. I don't want anything. Just calm down. I beg you, please leave me. Why are you all afraid of me? <sighs> Taco! What is that? A rubber suit. It doesn't conduct electricity. I feel absolutely safe around you. Come in. Look, I also made one for you. Am I supposed to wear that forever? Of course not. 
only outside. Or if someone comes to visit, <laughs> when you're alone, there's no need for it. I don't want a special outfit. I don't need anyone. <laughs> I thought when you had extraordinary abilities, people would adore you. That's not how it is. They want to put you in a space suit. I only wanted to be helpful. <laughs> it's me, Wally. I know you weren't expecting me. Here. They're beautiful. Sorry, dear me. Are you okay? No, everything's fine. I think I feel extraordinary. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Pardon me, friend. May I leave my seat for a second and come over and see you? What? I'm just asking, may I come over and see you? Of course, but why not? I was just wondering if my position is expressive enough. Or uh, maybe it would be better if I were to raise my cup a little higher. Excuse me, but where is my house? And pardon the candid question, but where am I? You've only painted the forest. Yes, my friend. I've wanted to paint the forest landscape for so long. And your wonderful house doesn't aesthetically fit into the composition. Excuse me, but it isn't true. As a painter, you should reflect life, but you produce lies. There's nothing I should do. You can't just mm. pretend it's not there. Mm. That's my house. Mm. I tell you again, I like this forest. There's lots of things in life I like, but it's impossible to fit them in the picture. Your house is lovely, but let's leave it for another time. That's illogical! Why is it impossible? Uh, my house fits right there in reality, so put it in the painting, maestro! Or do you think you're too good for reality? I've painted my reality. Please go ahead. Paint a picture, if you think yours is so much better. There is only one reality! Just one! Some do not appreciate its beauty. I'm sorry to see that you're one of them! This isn't so hard. Let's see. No personal interpretation? To be a realist is a true talent. Hmm? Ugh, wretched bush. It blocks the hammock. Should I paint the bush instead of the hammock? No, I should definitely put in the hammock. It's very beautiful. What to do? Not paint the bush as if it doesn't exist? No, of course not. To leave it out wouldn't get us anywhere. Hmm, it wouldn't be realistic. Hmm. Well, there we go. The composition is good, and there are absolutely no conflicts with reality. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs>
Wake up, Carlin! It's time to open your eyes. The light of a new day is rising. It will illuminate the darkness of your foolish fantasies. What time is it? The right time <laughs> to be a realist. <laughs> My friend, <sighs> I'm beginning to think that the fates have sent you to me for a reason. You need someone to open your talent to new horizons. <sighs> Compare my work to nature. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. uh, my goodness. When did this creek get here? Believe me, my friend, it wasn't here. I'll fix this nuisance right now. <laughs> 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 This ridiculous fire should be removed immediately before it ruins my entire composition. This reality is very harsh. I've captured it all. This is precisely the great essence of a true and exact depiction of life. When neither the forest nor my house exist, they will remain on the canvas. And when the viewer gazes upon my picture, he or she will appreciate my artistic sincerity because there is nothing with which to compare it now. Hmm. And what about this? What's this? That? That's the hammock. Ah. And what's this? Where? Oh, that's... Um, I don't, uh, I don't remember. It's a bush! I saw it! It's a bush! Oh, so that I could... Oh, 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 I could see the habit! Sometimes it seems like... Things kind of lose their real meaning. Like the real meaning of a window is to look through it. But sometimes you look through it, and it seems there isn't really anything to see. Nothing interesting, anyway. Or what's the real meaning of washing your face in the morning? To get clean, or just to do something? But then what's the real meaning of doing something? In the morning, or any time at all? What's the real meaning of even existing? Unclear. Unclear whether life has always been meaningless, and you simply never noticed it until now. Or there used to be meaning, but at some point it somehow faded away. Shouldn't nap in the snow, you'll get whooping cough. So what? What would it mean to not get whooping cough? Not feeling bad. What's the meaning of feeling good? To be healthy, of course, you woolly gooba. And being healthy means what? You nuts. Isn't being healthy better than being unwell? It's not a question of better. Better is irrelevant. What's the point of being healthy if it doesn't mean something? So, you're looking for meaning? Yep. In everything? Yeah, that'd be good. Then you need Kuzanatra. What on earth is Kuzanatra? Kuzanatra is a thing that gives meaning. That! I need that! Bad! Where do you get it? It's a long way from here. To find real meaning, I would travel anywhere! Yeah, nah. I'd have to show you how to get there, and it's too far. And I already have enough meaning in my life without Kuzanatra. I'm begging you, take me to the meaning. If I can't get there, all is lost. All right. Let's go then, try to keep up. You really surprise me. Knowing about Kuzanatra, have you really never thought of using it for yourself? Well, the less you know, the better you sleep. Sounds like your spirit's quite tired, my friend. <laughs> you have become old, my friend. Tired and indifferent. You're telling me you aren't even curious about the meaning of life? What would I gain from that information? What if it turns out the meaning of life is to not eat sweets and not sleep till noon?
That would be uh, um, a giant bummer. Old silly Carlin. So very kind. Huh? In his own way. Uh, what? Um, can you imagine what a wonderful, fulfilling life we'll have when we both finally completely understand the real meaning of it all? I can't wait! It's gonna be so awesome! You'll understand why you eat too much cake or tell a silly lie for no reason. I won't waste any more time wondering what stuff means. And then life will become easy and clear. <clears throat> you know, I had an easy and clear life. But then I ran into you and now we're here. <sighs> What's the cause of all evil? It's because each of us sees the same things differently. Each of us interprets the same things in different ways, which makes conflict. But if there were only one meaning, the true, real one, everybody would just get along. <laughs> How much longer will it be until we reach Kuzanatra? <sighs> would it kill Kuzanatra to live closer <clears throat> to my house? <sighs> We need to write a note telling how everyone can make the journey themselves to Kuzanatra. We can tell them what the journey's like. They'll be better prepared than us. That way they'll know to bring a coat. I'm almost frozen. And I have a built-in sweater. Come on. We have to get there. Have to. Then we can help everyone learn the truth. Where are we? We're home now. Home and free. We lost our direction in the blizzard. And made a detour. Just try and get some rest now. We can try to get there again tomorrow. There's no need to hurry. Kuzanatra won't get away from us. The real meaning of this broth is to be eaten to help bring back my strength. The real meaning of my comfy, soft, warm bed is for rest. And these meanings just might be enough for me. For now. Hmm.